Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Destination Anywhere. This episode is going to be a little different than the usual in that I'm going to show you five random places in New Jersey that you should visit if you have a few extra hours. All of them have a little history, and all of them are worth your time, so let's not waste any more and get started. Located in Hunterdon County on the western edge of the state sits the historic town of Clinton. No structure is more synonymous with Clinton than that of the famous Red Mill just off the south branch of the Raritan River. First constructed in 1810 to process wool, the mill saw its share of owners over the years until being turned into a museum in the 1960s. Besides wool, the mill was used to process flour, stone, and even made peach baskets at one time. Today there's plenty to see as the mill is just one part of the whole Red Mill Museum Village experience. As a bonus attraction, Visitors to Clinton can also enjoy the Hunterdon Art Museum, situated directly across the water from the Red Mill. If you've got a few hours to kill and you're looking for some history, come check out Clinton, New Jersey. The next spot on our list is just a few miles from the Red Mill, and that's the Ken Lockwood Gorge Wildlife Management Area. Boasting over 260 acres, Lockwood Gorge features this secluded section of the Raritan River coming in at just over two miles long. A haven for trout fishermen, the woods around the area consist of all types of wildlife and plants. The gorge, named after noted outdoor journalist Ken Lockwood, was acquired by the Division of Fish, Game and Wildlife in 1948 and has been providing a quiet, peaceful getaway for its visitors ever since. Hiker, fishermen, or just want to take your dog swimming, this is a place you can't miss. The next spot on the list is an example of nature and history all rolled up into one. While the present incarnation of Duke Farms in Hillsborough may have opened to the public just six years ago, it's been on the forefront of agricultural conservation for over a century. Originally established by wealthy entrepreneur James Buchanan Duke in the late 1800s, Duke's goal was to assemble a massive plot of farm and woodland similar to where he grew up in North Carolina. Duke was able to realize this dream when he amassed 2,700 acres of land before passing away in 1925. Eventually control of the estate ended up with his daughter, Doris Duke, who continued her father's vision up until her death in 1993. Today, visitors can see remnants of many of the old structures that helped serve the land. One of the most interesting of these is the foundation to a mansion that was never completed. The reason construction was halted isn't certain, but these walls serve as a reminder of a different time. The park is open to the public every day except Wednesday, and admission is free. With over a thousand acres to roam and 18 miles of trails, you might want to visit this one more than once. Next up on this list is a true piece of American history. The Ford Mansion is where George Washington and his closest men stayed during the coldest winter in New Jersey history from 1779 into 1780 during the Revolutionary War. Located in Morristown in Morris County, the Ford Mansion is one of four parts of the Morristown National Historic Park, the first of its kind in the country. Established in 1933, the mansion site also features Washington's Headquarters Museum behind the Ford Mansion, which is open seven days a week during the summer. In front of the mansion between Morris and Washington Avenue sits General Washington above horseback. If you want to see one of George Washington's favorite New Jersey spots, be sure to check this place out. The last spot on our list is the only one that charges admission, but it's well worth it. Grounds for Sculpture in Hamilton is a not-for-profit sculpture park featuring nearly 300 exhibitions of contemporary art. Music 
Founded by American artist Seward Johnson, GFS sits on 42 acres in Mercer County on the site of the former New Jersey State Fairgrounds, as well as partially on the location of the former Trenton Speedway. Johnson, who is the grandson of Johnson & Johnson co-founder Robert Wood Johnson, is known for his signature bronze creations portraying people participating in everyday actions. Besides the outdoor art, GFS features several indoor galleries as well as a cafe and fine dining restaurant. So there's no need to pack a lunch next time you visit this place. Well that's it for this episode. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to the Mickey Shuffle on YouTube for more videos like this.